and obviously Trey going out as early and as quickly as he did kind of altered, I'm sure, the plan. But what just kind of the rest of y'all, you and Jordan, kind of say to that group for the, for the rest of that time just to kind of make up for him? Uh, you can ask Jordan. I was telling him the whole time, like, hey, like, we're not new to this. We're true to this. Like, we've been down before. We've been shorthanded before. We don't had to make a lot of adjustments before. So to us, we ain't really flinch. We were just like, hey, some way, somehow, we got to get it done. No matter what it takes, we got to get it done. So we both was doing things that we don't usually do, you know what I'm saying? But that's what you got to do when you're trying to get a win. You got to step up to the plate and do what it takes. Where where does your catch Saturday rank on your, your catalog all time? All time, I make it like a – I made some crazy catches, huh? I, I, you know what I'm but I put it at a three, considering the situation and how much it meant. Top rank opponent, top top twenty five. So I sit it at three. But my favorite, you are gonna have to watch my high school highlight tape. You know how to, you gonna see right there. Obviously, you were heavily involved this past weekend with with Trey being out, but you were involved some with in Mercer when all y'all were out there. You noticed your presence kind of increase or your role increase throughout these now that the season's here? Um, I wouldn't say like that. I would say like more so um, you can't call every play. Like the, the way we run our offense is just like whatever. It depends on where the ball is really. You know what I'm saying? So if it's on right hash, I'm playing on the left. And then it's like, okay, we can call these set of plays. If it's on the left hash, we can call these set of plays. So it's not really like, oh, yeah. We in meetings, you get this, you get this, you get this, you get this, you get this. Nah, we work everything both ways because you never know where the ball going to end up. So it's not like anything scripted for a specific person. It's more so like, hey, wherever the ball in, just go make the play when your name called. You know what I'm saying? And since we were short a receiver, sometimes it was like, all right, we'll have to move you around. You know what I'm saying? Shit, that's just the ball. I think Lane said after the game, he uh, kind of classified Dart tough or categorized tough when he saw Saturday, especially in that second half for kind of that low where the offense was struggling. Did y'all feed off that or could y'all sense he was trying to kind of carry this team as much as he could? Yeah, like, um, this is my second year with Dart. So it being my second year with Dart, I know him like outside of football. Like I've, I'll say personally, like we're close, we have conversations, you know, I know how much he wanted, he know how much I wanted, you know what I'm saying? And he just showed y'all Saturday like how much he really wanted, you know what I'm saying? Battling whatever he's battling, doing, you know what I'm saying? Like so. It was no surprise to me or us. We all know he a dog. We all know he going to give us all he got no matter what. You know what I'm saying? If he can go, he going. You know what I'm saying? So we just rallied behind him. <clears throat> Are you having to become kind of a mentor for some of the younger guys, especially with a couple of guys out where you guys might have to count on some of the young guys to contribute? Uh, we never uh, – we consider ourselves deep in a receiver room. So it's not really like, oh – like you, you gotta just now get ready, cause whoop, whoop, whoop. Nah, like we, we, we see ourselves as like, okay, we got a lot of talent. Anybody can go in at any time. Like if somebody tired, we can sub in with no problem. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I wouldn't say like I would have to start getting on people like more than I have before, but I um, mean, yeah, I definitely mentor the young. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's 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 your job as an older older player, older receiver. You don't want to just keep all the knowledge to yourself. Like you wanna you wanna keep the the legacy going, you know what I'm saying? Like that's like how uh, AJ Brown came back and he came dropping drools and whatnot. Like that's what you're supposed to do. Like you alumni, you graduate Mingo. I still talk to Mingo and every night before the game. He'll Facetime me like, "Hey, what they look like? What you thinking? Whoop whoop, this might work." Like he even helped us uh, drop some plays on Mercer. Like he taught me, talk, taught to me. I wrote it down. I was like, "All right, bet I'm gonna show coach." You know what I'm saying? Because you know that's just what you do as an older receiver, as a as a response, as a leader. You know what I'm saying? You lead. So you don't lead by not coaching the younger guys or bringing everybody along, you know what I'm saying? So it's just a leadership role. As we've noted before, you're obviously a returnee. And it's been a common theme lately with the guys that were on last year's team saying that they wouldn't have won a game uh, like you guys did against Tulane. Why, why is this team different? Who said that? <laughs> uh, Jackson Dart. <laughs> Uh, I feel like uh, we got we hmm, we weren't really as glued as we were last year around this time than we are this year around this time. Like this year, I would say we done. I would compare 
Cause you know, last year around this time, we wasn't really. Everybody was like, "Oh, what's up with Ole Miss? What's going on?" You know what I'm saying? Troy, Central Arkansas only did. You know what I'm saying? But now it's like, "Oh, Ole Miss up to something." Cause we bonded. We like, okay, that's what we preach a lot in this team room. Like, hey, uh, just being great players ain't gonna do it. We gotta have a brotherhood. We gotta have each other back out there on the field. I don't know if y'all seen that uh, Florida Florida Gator documentary. But uh, he, everybody was saying like, nah, they, they did it because they had a brotherhood and that's that's what you do. When you going hard for somebody else and yourself, it make everything a whole lot easier. You mentioned you and Mingo still FaceTiming uh, when y'all are both preparing for, for two different games now, yeah. but how important was that relationship for y'all or for you with him last year and just kind of carrying over to what you're doing now? Each one teach one, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I say it a lot. Like. It's some things that I can't do, some things they can't do, it's some things. So it's like, um, I can help you get better at this, you can help me get better at this. It's, it's, it ain't no like, oh yeah, he know everything, he Mr. The guy, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, we more so have a humble approach, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm ready to learn, you ready to learn, we all just ready to learn. So that really just make the game a whole lot easier versus you just being stuck in your own ways. It make adapting and adjusting to new looks, coverages, and, and they, it just make the game easier because there's going to be looks he's seen that I haven't seen. There's going to be looks I've seen that I haven't seen. It's going to be ways to react that. You know what I'm saying? It's just – that's just the way it go. said he was drawing up plays before Mercer. Did you guys run anything that he th that he drew up? We Okay, so we, we ran the play last year, and they had, like, a similar defense. So he was like, okay, this worked when we ran, like, this worked versus – you know what I'm saying? So it was just like, oh, yeah, they might we might get that same look depending on how – I don't want to drop too many jewels, but, you know, yeah, game is game. Just what are your kind of initial impressions of uh, Georgia Tech's secondary? Uh, similar, very similar to last year, except we got, we got Zamari, we got Z-Walk, you know what I'm saying? So they were turning on one of the corners that we played against last year. They showed two we haven't seen before. So we just – I'm finna go play ball, you know what I'm saying? I, ain't, I don't wanna say too much, but yeah, we, we definitely gonna prepare like we preparing for just anybody else. Like we prepare, prepare we prepare for Mercer like we was preparing for Bama, you know what I'm saying? So that's not gonna change just cause the opponent name changed. We gonna do our our part and we just gonna execute. What do you kinda, rem you mentioned Walton, what do you kinda remember from that game of, uh, when he was playing, him a lot, specifically? A lot of cover three, a lot of, Oh, I'm finna show man and I'm finna bail and get out, like a whole lot of that, you know. So I don't wanna <laughs> I don't wanna say too much, but yeah, it's just similar similar looks. Appreciate y'all. <laughs>